Hey guys, Joyce and Anthony aka JJ here and earlier this week Blender released 2.91.2 and if you go to the top and click download and then scroll down and click experimental you'll see that Blender also released on that day 2.92 beta and 2.93 alpha. For this experiment we're going to be using the beta version. If you open up 2.92 beta, it has this really cool new splash screen. Crazy what you can make in Blender. It's so crazy. So now I'm going to go into 2D animation. And so the first new feature is the curve editing option. And before I get to that, I'm going to draw this quick squiggly line. Okay, I drew, drew the squiggly line and now I'm in edit mode. So now if you go to the top, you'll see this new feature, curve editing, and these are the features that you can adjust. Now I'm gonna select. An option. And one thing I noticed, this is used if you wanna like adjust a vertice but right now what I noticed when it wasn't working I had the had the stroke option which you really need the vertice option to really get in there if you want to like adjust a specific vertice so once you have it you can click it and right now I'm just gonna hold down G and you can move this specific point and again there's other ways to do it but this is just another I guess tool in your tool belt and now like what I was gonna say is you can click like the outside like there's three dots on the line and you can right now I'm pressing S just to scale it and you can play around with a specific vertice and to clarify this curve editing slash bezer bezer I don't know if I'm saying it right option this is not a new option in the past if I'm not mistaken in previous versions it was an add-on you had to add the curve add-on and then you were able to adjust it this is the first time where this curve editing option is at the top of the menu or the toolbar the second new feature in blender 2.92 I'm actually really excited about it's a new paint option in vertex paint so first I'm just drawing this circle and filling it in to play around. This is actually, I'm gonna be, you'll be watching me play around with this for the first time, this new feature. Okay, once you're done drawing, you go from draw to vertex paint. And now if you look at the end, this new paint option is new for 2.92. And these are the different options you can adjust. Set vertex colors, reset, invert, levels, hue saturation, brightness, contrast. Okay, so it looks like the color comes from directly what you have. Sorry guys, I'm playing with this as I'm recording. <laughs> I'm just gonna play with all these options. Reset, oh, so it just goes back to the very beginning, good to know. Invert. I think it seems like it wants you to choose the color before you choose the paint option. Oh, okay. I like this reset button. I really like this. This is, I like how they put this at the top and you can adjust all these settings. Previous versions, you could add a modifier and then under color, hue, saturation. And I'm pretty sure that adjusts vertex paint, but I just, I like how they put it at the top right here. Hmm. Okay, well, I'm about to move on to number three, but hopefully you get the general gist of this new painting feature at the top of Vertex Paint. 
But my favorite is the reset one. I like that. I feel like I'm gonna use that a lot. So for the third one, it's the third new feature is trace animation to grease pencil object. And this is an animation that I drew in Procreate and then transferred it as an MP4. Off camera, I tried to transport a GIF. That did not work. So an MP4 file is the best. So once you drag your MP4 into Blender, I made sure it's in black and white. Go to object and scroll to the bottom, trace image to grease pencil. Tracing an object to grease pencil is not a new feature, but going down and changing this from single to sequence and tracing an animation, that is definitely a new feature in 2.92, which is so awesome that you can do that now. So I'm just gonna drag it over. I just wanna play it and see what it looks like. And for those wondering, these purple lines that you see in the back, those are, it's the onion skin. Okay, and then it's also the green lines. To turn that off, what you do is you go to the top and then you go down under grease pencil, turn off the onion skin, and then you will not see it anymore. So, I mean, it doesn't come out 100% perfect, but it's really awesome. It comes out like 85%. So I just deleted that and I wanna play, I, I wanted to play around with the, the different settings for for tracing. And I know that these new, these options, are the, I think all of them are the same. And like you see in 2.91, it's just the sequence. And I just wanted to change the resolution because I was thinking maybe if I turn the resolution up, oh, the highest is 20. Maybe if I turn the resolution up, it will come out more of a carbon copy. Mm, okay. That was weird, but like once you started playing it, it came out all right. I was like, that's really weird. So it looks like turning the resolution up made it worse. So I guess I need to turn the resolution down. Cause right now I, I think I had the resolution at 20. So if you made it this far, thank you so much for watching this video. The remaining video, I'm just playing around with these settings. I just wanted to see what happens. Cause I've, I've traced images in the past in 2.91, but I've honestly never played around with these settings. So again, the three new features in Blender 2.92 is a new curve editing tool at the top of the toolbar. The new vertex paint, I guess paint option in the toolbar. <laughs> and last but not least, the ability to trace an animation into a grease pencil object. This is Joyce and Anthony, AKA JJ. Thank you so much for watching. Until next time.